Welcome back to Outdoors with Ten. Today we're going to try out my Jackery 500 and see if it'll run my three little appliances here. I'll show you in a minute, but we got a it's just a single electric burner, tiny crock pot, and a little rice maker. Alright, the first thing I want to try out is the electric burner. Alright, fire this bad boy up. Fifty-two, hundred and fifty, two hundred watts, three hundred watts, four hundred watts, five hundred watts, six, seven, eight. Shut down. Alright. So we know that it won't run this burner. That was quick. <laughs> well, let's see if we can do some rice. Let's see how this jackery does. It says it's drawing 32 watts right now. I think it's on a warming uh, setting. Cup of water and a quarter. Put the lid on and we'll hit the button. See what the jackery does. 82, 105, 153, 155, 154. 155 so we should be able to use the rice cooker I don't really like this burner electric burner anyway because it stays hot for a long time that ain't no good all right the rice cooker's going and uh, it's only drawn 155 watts so we will check back in when it's done and figure out how we're gonna Test out that uh, crock pot. I guess we'll just see how many. We'll pour some water in it and see how many watts it dra draws, but I'm not going to sit out here all night and make something in the crock pot, so stay tuned. This thing was supposed to shut off on its own. Oh, there it goes. Hey, very cool. All right, shut off on its own. All right, rice cooker worked, but it was at 90, basically 99 to 84%. We tried the electric burner, and that killed it right away. So I don't know. Let's just say 99 to 84 for the rice cooker rice cooker shut off on its own would have stayed on warm but uh, I unplugged it so that works good but we'll move on and see uh, see if that little crock pot will draw some power stay tuned all right, so it's a little tiny crock pot brand crock pot, and just I'm just gonna throw some water in it for now and just see what kind of uh, power it draws. I don't want to do it empty. I don't know how good that is for it. Probably won't hurt it, but. All right, and there's no controls on it, so I just plug it in, and we'll see what happens. Oh, sorry. All right, J 
Jackery went to 53 watts. And it might stay there. It just might work really slow, right? So I'm, I'm probably going to say that's going to be doable as well. But all these little appliances are cool. And I will probably use them in the van at a campground or in this trailer in a campground. And then the, uh, the electric burner. Yeah, that, that's, uh, I almost said short power. That's if you're plugged into regular 120, 110, whatever. That's too much for this jackery. Now if I had uh, a bigger one or uh, some of the new Blue Eddies, it would have handled it no problem. But So that I'll keep all this stuff and use it when I'm at a campground plugged in or here plugged in, but I don't see any of this stuff being uh, needed on the trail and burning up a jackery battery or whatever uh, when you can just use a little portable stove but it was good to know I mean that slow cooker that crock pot you know that'd be great if you're going out for four or five hours But, you know, and in that case, I would probably just bring a little bit bigger one, regular one. The fan just kicked on. The watts are the same. It's all good campground stuff. Would I use a jackery for it? No, not unless I had to. There's better ways. More efficient ways, save the jackery for running the television uh, and a DVD player. No. Yeah. And uh, charging up your cameras, electronics, whatever. I don't think I would, I don't think I would ever cook off of a jackery or even if I had a Blue Eddy, I don't know. I would power stuff, but I don't know if I would cook with it. it just doesn't, uh, it just doesn't need to happen. I mean, they make, uh, I'll show you the little uh, fire pit grill I have. It's a uh, Red Camp, I think. It's a name brand. That's pretty cool. Um, that you just add sticks to. And then I have another one from years ago. It's even smaller. Same thing. You just cook with sticks. And neat to see the, the amount of wattage coming out of this stuff, but I'm out on the barrel boat for a week. I'm not plugging these into the solar system. I'll cook with butane or on shore. If you want to see more of the barrel boat and me being interviewed by a real YouTuber, uh, Brenton from Backwaters and Back Roads did a interview with the barrel boat. It's on his channel. I'll put the uh, couple pictures up on the screen here go check out uh, backwaters and back roads and if you like the uh, boat adventures and any kind of adventure go check out Brenton's channel he uh, it's back road or backwaters and back roads he does all kinds of good stuff Okay, my favorite of the three is the dash. The instructions come with 19 different recipes. 
and they're homemade recipes. It's not open a can of soup and put it in. These are adding raw meat and vegetables and muffins and blueberry. The crock pot brand mini crock pot is nice too. It worked fine. Went from 55 down to 52, back to 55 cycles. And uh, watt, you know, drawn watts, 55 watts. Um, the water was hot in there, so I just had water in there. So that uh, that's cool too, but that's all you, I mean, this is fast. This is... Uh, to cook like turkey chili or something it's just a few cycles the crock pot is obviously all day thing so I like both they both work on the Jackery 500 but uh, number one would be the dash and I think this is the same color too that uh, off-grid adventures has on his he has a little oven that he likes and uh, I think this would match his little oven but yeah that's uh that's my pick for out of these three and the jackery works fine but you know i wish it was obviously a, a bigger uh bigger one so the rice uh well, yeah i was going to show you the rice the rice the rice is nice and fluffy i was going to grab a spoon but you get it so that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Um, stay tuned. There'll be a lot more videos, a lot more fun stuff. And winter time's coming. Got the Eskimo 450 XD sitting right here behind me. And my old uh, flip over wild thing, which is still a great ice shanty. And we'll see what we can do this year. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, you can like, subscribe, it's free, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos coming up. Bye for now.